Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to live stream. If you're new here, I run a live stream every Saturday night and also five other days during the week. Man, today has been an, an interesting day. Uh, but if you're watching this at a later date, it'll probably be known as Keith Condensed. If you're wondering what's going on with my shirt, like right over here, it's actually a webcam that I've kind of extended out. That's because I haven't been able to put together a background to make the actual camera square again because no one wants to watch a square video on a, on a platform that's a 16 by 9 right today i wanted to get on why i closed my snapchat position well almost closed all my snapchat position i didn't close it entirely um but first i want to let you guys know that these videos are meant for educational purposes only and not meant to be taken as financial advice you are responsible for your assets and to properly protect them. So do your own research. Please do your own research. Please do your own research. And just because I talk in good light about a stock or in bad light about the stock does not constitute a buy, sell, or anything like that and does not mean that the stock will go up or does not mean that the stock will go down. It just is my personal opinion. So take it for what it is in an opinion. Anyways, today I wanted to get into why I closed my Snapchat position. And really what it came down to was I, I took uh, a position in Snapchat and I'll go ahead and scroll down here real quick to show you guys the history real quick. So I've been, I've been tracking Snapchat for gosh, since the IPO last year. So uh, for me, I, I really, really, I guess more or less understand how the Snapchat stock works because I've been following it for so long. So I understand the volatility with it, all kinds of stuff. But if, if you take a look, I took a bigger position here. Three shares, would, I would say, is about a fifth of my account right now. At 1388, that was right before the earnings call around May. So the earnings call was May 2nd. May 2nd rolls around. Share price is at around $11. I would say $11.21. I pulled a position there uh, because for me, I was like, I, I got to get this price to drop down even more because I know that, that eventually some news or something good will come out about Snapchat and it'll just go boom back right up. Like not, not completely like up to where it was at like $18 or something like that, but it will definitely bounce off that bottom of say like, I was, I was thinking around maybe like 1150 or something like that is where it would bounce off of. Uh, so anything below that, I was like, I'm just gonna start buying every single day from then on. So, you know, May 2nd rolls around, I pick up a share of for 1121, trying to get my, my average cost per share around that $12 range. And so I believe at the close of May 2nd, I was sitting probably at about like 1250 per share. May 3rd comes around, the price opens below $11, and I was like, I'm gonna pick up another share, and I'll pick up, I'll be just continue picking up shares until I get to 10% exposure into Snap, and then after that, I won't expose myself anymore because at that point, it's too much risk for my overall portfolio. And so, uh, obviously, I picked up some more shares on the 3rd, and then I picked up another share on the 4th, bringing my, co my, my average cost per share to twelve dollars and six cents and at that point uh it continued to drop even more like if you look at it over the one month the lowest that it hit was 1055 so um I, my, my only mistake was to not pick up more at, uh, under 1050 like around 1050 but i knew i was like you know it's gonna i'm gonna be good news that rolls out about snap and it's gonna bounce off and we're gonna have this nice run right here and once it passes 1206 I'll look at, at closing my position. I was planning on closing right at 12.06. However, uh, I think that there was this day right here and it went above 12.06 and I didn't even like notice it till the close of the day because uh, I wasn't really tracking it all that much. And I was like, oh, okay, it, it passed 12.06. So I'm like, now I'll start setting a limit, limit sell at 12.06 and then we'll see where it goes from there. Boom, boom, a few days, hit a negative day there. And I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll sell, maybe I won't. I'll just continue probably riding it out or probably bounce up even higher. And I was like, you know what? At this point, I'm going to hold until I'm basically able to afford an entire share of Snap. And this is because uh, I play a little bit of Fortnite and the, uh, the Fortnite players, well, they usually run typically a little bit younger and uh, around 12 years old, I would say. 
And so I was doing a little bit of market research and I was like, hey, man, do you guys use Snapchat? And they're like, yeah. And I was like, do you guys think that that company is growing or do you think that that company is going to die within the next five years? And they said, no, man, it's definitely growing. Like a lot of my friends are hopping on there. So I was like, all right, cool. Like I definitely got to make sure that I preserve one share uh, in case this thing does grow to the size of Facebook. Right now, I basically sit with a free share roughly. Um, I would say that it's not completely a free share. I think I'm like Snapchat drops under $1. I think I, I will start taking a negative on the overall position on Snapchat. But for me, like it's roughly a free share. So I was like, hey, this is great. I went up $12 or something like that, closed seven of my shares and left myself with one. And I'm going to continue riding it out. For me, though, when I took my position, when I took my stake in Snapchat, it was never a long term hold. It was this short term earnings call that had went south that I, because I know Snapchat, because I've seen the way that it has acted, I was like, it's going to bounce. And when it bounces, then I'll get ready to close. Even, so for me, it was when I when I seen the earnings call, it's like it's a win win for me, basically on this earnings call. So I was like, I can take a little bit before great earnings call the next day. Great. I'll just sell the position the next day or hey, bad earnings call. I'll buy down, get my cost cost per share down. And then once it bounces, then I'll close. So that was the strategy going into it, executed the strategy perfect and walked away with basically $12 of profit on Snapchat. So roughly 1% of my overall portfolio um, in profit on Snapchat over the last, I would say, month more or less. Anyways, guys, that's, so that's why I, I, I closed my Snap position. I'm not long on Snapchat at all. I don't think that it'll be a good company into the future because uh, last year they, they spent three, three and a half billion dollars in operating income and they only grossed a hundred million. So um, I don't know any company that they literally got to generate basically like literally got to generate like so much. I think it was like almost like 30 times more gross revenue, gross profit in order to even like think about breaking that operating income, breaking even maybe. Uh, and that's without increasing their operating income at all. Their operating income would have to stay the same while increasing their gross profit, which I think is dang near impossible. So uh, I'll continue to hold this basically free share that I have and see where it goes for the 12 year olds that are play Fortnite. Hashtag Fortnite 12 year olds. But anyways, guys, it's been real. Thanks for watching. Feel free to join me on the live stream where I give away half an ounce of silver. Uh, like I said, I run it every single night and or every other oh, almost six days a week. Anyways, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you in the live stream. See you later.